Hey you guys, welcome back to Lex Journey with Spirit. I'm your girl Lex. I like to welcome all of my new and returning viewers and subscribers to my channel as your support is highly appreciated. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button down below. That way you and I can continue to stay connected through Spirit. Now, I have a reading today for you guys and I think you guys are going to be very interested to find out exactly what does your masculine think of you currently? So we're going to go ahead and do a general reading on For the Collective to find out exactly what this energy I'm currently picking up on. All right, stay tuned because you don't want to miss it. Hey, you guys, welcome to the channel. Before I start, I'm going to ask that my spirit guides come through and only provide only the purest white light and protection during this reading. All right, any negative energy I to send back into the universe as it is not welcome here in this space. I ask for my spirit guides to come through. All right, you guys, welcome to this reading. I just want to start off by saying that I don't know what it is, but I'm feeling very emotional and very, I got this feeling of depression and sorrow. But I'm also feeling a bit, you know, excited in a sense, as if something, as if I'm hoping for something. And I'm picking up that this could be in reference to the divine masculine trying to come through, um, take the roles, flip them how you so ever feel, um, as energy is always fluent. But I'm definitely picking up that someone. If you've been dealing with a divine masculine, I'm definitely hearing someone who is very remorseful, very sorrowful in reference to this connection. And they feel as if that they may have missed out on some type of opportunity with you that may have been able to progress this relationship further. I also get in the sense that someone has provided someone the same amount of loyalty that they should have provided you. Meaning that someone's receiving the benefits in which were due to you but it was like they were tricked or calmed into this situation so let's go ahead and get a couple of pull cards here spirit to see what's going on with this energy with this masculine here and what they're thinking and what's going on because i'm definitely getting someone who's very remorseful okay spirit threw out a couple of cards Yes, it says the universe is communicating. So I'm definitely getting a sense with this card that the universe is definitely communicating with this masculine. They're definitely getting a download in reference to this situation, trying to understand, you know, the mistakes in which they've made. They're also trying to do some form of reconciliation is what I'm hearing as well. All right, the spirit, what other messages can I get in reference to this divine masculine? All right. Let's see. What other messages can you give me in reference to this divine masculine? All right. Thank you, spirit. All right. Predator, crook, villain. Okay. So I don't see, like, I don't see the predator part, but I do see the crook or villain. And they they may feel be in this type of energy, feeling as if maybe they played the villain in the relationship. The, I, I'm definitely getting, like, the relationship was very volatile in the beginning. Like, everything everything was going great in the beginning. And then out of nowhere, this divine masculine kind of got big-headed. I'm definitely getting a sense that this masculine is very cocky. Like, they sit on a high horse, but they were brought down real quick down the size, is what I'm getting from this reading. Okay. All right, Spirit threw out another card. Two of them to be exact. Okay. So this masculine, I'm definitely feeling as if, you know, it says exercise more, get balanced. I'm definitely getting the sense that this, this masculine is trying to understand this awakening that they're going through or understand the downloads that the universe is communicating with them when it comes down to this connection. I'm also getting that they may be out of tune, like, or maybe trying to get in tune. You say in tune, Spirit? Okay, they're trying to get in tune. And the reason why I say they're trying to get in tune is because it's like, they're trying to heal just like you're healing. Some of you guys may not be entertaining anyone at this time or welcoming new parties into your life. You guys may be cordially flirting here and there. But this person is definitely not interested in the situation that they're in. I'm definitely getting as if this person may be a little out of whack. Or a little discombobulated. Yes, yeah, spirits say healing mind, body, and soul. So this person is definitely going through a healing phase. 
And because they definitely feel like they're at the bottom of the barrel at this point. Like they definitely feel like they traded something beautiful for something that was not as beautiful as you. Internally, physically, mentally, spiritually. Like this person, this person definitely, like I just was about to say personally. But spirit, but my mouth said person. But spirit wants me to say personally, this person is at the bottom of the slums. Because they, they traded someone for you that does not hold the same values. Like, I'm look, no more chances, game over. They definitely feel like this situation or this connection is over in a sense. Or because they're watching you enjoy your life moving forward and not entertaining any of the nonsense. I hear a lot of you guys have elevated mentally and emotionally from this situation. That you're starting to try to heal not only your, you know, solar plexus, but you're also trying to heal, you know, the other chakras that, that's aligned with you. I'm, I'm also hearing spirits say that a lot of you guys are trying to, you know, you be, be cleansed internally. Um, if that makes sense for some people, some people may be practicing celibacy, not really engaging with a lot of um, intercourse. But I, I, and also I'm hearing like a lot of you guys aren't even communicating as much as you used to with friends, family, you know, and, and people around you. Like a lot, somebody has definitely entered hermit mode. This could be you or your masculine. Okay, this is the masculine. They're entering into hermit mode. Okay. Yeah, around the corner. So I'm definitely getting a sense that this person may not be far from you. Like you guys may not live that far apart. Because this is definitely not a long distance relationship. It never was. I'm definitely getting a sense that this, this person was dealing with someone that was close to you or close to the vicinity of your neighborhood. This whoever this karmic may be that this person feels trapped with. Okay, yeah, dark magic. So they're definitely experiencing a lot of dark magic. I'm, I'm seeing here somebody that did this in front of this masculine's face with no regard to what the outcome could be. Like, this person didn't care about doing this, this evil witchery in front of this masculine. Like, I'm definitely getting the sense that this karmic is also jealous or threatened by your presence or the thought of you. If that makes sense. Like, this, 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 this uh, this masculine is definitely... Um, doing some shadow work is what I'm picking up here as well as they're, they're doing some candle magic to try to bring you back into alignment with them but they're not doing it out of a place of love they're doing it out of place of selfishness like spirit said if they were doing it out of a sense of love and not out of a sense of selfishness because they feel as if you're walking away from this connection, then they would have allowed this magic to go through. But because they're coming from a place of greed and selfishness and they have yet to under, uh, fully understand the uh, ramifications of their actions and decisions, that this is being blocked. This is definitely being blocked. Okay, Spirit threw out another card. Yeah. Coffee in the morning. So I'm definitely getting like whoever this person is. This could be you or your masculine. Spirit, clarify the coffee in the morning. Okay, Spirit is telling me that the coffee in the morning, like they know that you like to drink your coffee in the morning. This could be iced coffee, hot coffee, but they consider you their coffee in the morning. If that makes sense for somebody. You know, like this definitely, yeah, this is this is definitely somebody that considers you that coffee in the morning. Like you give them, you're a fresher breath air for them. You're, you're a wake up. This is a wake up call. This is a wake up call. Spirit said that's a wake up call. Okay. Spirit said don't take those cards. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Spirit said get another deck. All right. I'm going to get another deck, y'all. But yeah, Spirit is definitely saying that, you know, this person is definitely going through a wake up call. They're starting to realize, you know, who you are. And it's like they're being, the, the debt that they're paying in reference to this mistreatment or um, this demise that they're going through, it, it's weighing heavy on them. Like they, they seem like they can't take it is what I'm hearing. Okay, a card came flying out. Let me pick that up. Yeah, somebody's saying you got me fucked up so i'm definitely picking up on this karmic here trying to come through dealing with this masculine like this person definitely feels threatened by you they feel threatened by you because they know that you are the divine you are the chosen one but the same token this person is trying to throw a lot of illusions 
this divine masculine's way to try to block this this connection. I'm hearing sex magic. Yeah. And like this person is definitely putting a lot of you know spells in the mix and it's like the, the the masculine himself is trying to battle that because this person is also putting magic on this this masculine as well and they're fighting to battle that situation as well like this person is it's like this person is sticking up for you because it's, I'm hearing in the past they never stuck up for you or never stood up for you when it when when it mattered the most but now that you guys are not together this person is coming through on another level saying look that's not who you want to quit like, I'm hearing this person really taking up for you. And this this karmic cannot stand that. Like, this person wants to know what do you have that they don't have. Okay, this card came flying out. It says, please don't give up on us coming home soon. So, yes, this master is trying to make his way, his escape out of this situation. But I feel like there's a lot of blockage here. This could be um, emotional baggage or um, emotional baggage. I don't know why I said that. But emotional baggage, um, some physical blockage. Um, I'm hearing that a child may possibly be involved and in, this does not apply to everybody but to some of you. Um, I'm also getting that somebody may be blocked financially. Like this person may have invested in a situation with this karmic and made a contractual deal and I'm seeing like to a house or an apartment of the sort. Yeah, this person is a man eater, a heartbreaker. Like, yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys may have felt like you got your heart broken, that you invested in the wrong person, and that this person did not take you serious. Okay, Spirit said, okay. <laughs> okay, Spirit said, take this call. Okay, soul contract. Yeah. So this connection is definitely a soul contract. Like, this is the reason why you guys feel like you can't separate, or why, it's, why you're finding it hard to find someone else to replace them. I'm hearing spirits say you've been trying to, trying to find better means of entertainment, if that makes sense for you. Um, but it's a soul contract that you guys have between one another. Like, not everybody's going to be able to come in and to fit the description of what you're looking for. Because not everybody is destined to be in, in your life, is what I'm hearing. But this person, this, this relationship that you guys have is definitely on a soul level. But again, this karmic situation is on a soul level. This was supposed to play out the way it was supposed to play out in order for you guys, for this, for this masculine to grow. It's what I'm hearing. Ooh, it's really just throwing out a lot of cards. Okay. Okay. They said take the top one. Yeah, okay. I hate that I love you. So this is definitely a love-hate relationship in a sense that you guys definitely hate that, you know, you guys are with each other, not with each other. Like, when you guys are with each other, it's definitely a love-hate situation. You guys are always at each other's throat. But then it's like you guys come right back together and are able to compromise and come to a understanding. But at this point in time, it's like you guys are separated for good and it's not going in the favor of the masculine. Like they were thought they thought they had you forever. Like you were never going to walk away from this relationship or sit or situationship. Because they put a, they they played a lot of games in a sense. They even fed you lies, is what I hear. Like, I also hear that some of you guys may have provided this masculine money and they went and spent it on that karmic. And it's like, you guys are like, hold up, did you just spend my money on a whole nother person? Like, I worked hard for that. Yeah, because this person is a Jezebel spirit. Card dropped on the floor. This is somebody they don't want to be with. And I feel like a lot of you guys may have blocked this masculine from even being able to see your social media page. Because I feel like a lot of you guys may have been reading some, been hearing from some of these readers like, oh, this person watching you on social media. They stalking you on Instagram. They following you on Facebook. They hitting up your Twitter. They checking out your TikTok. You know what I'm saying? They try any means to see if they can see you because they want to know whether or not you're happy, whether or not you're moving on, whether or not you're going to be um, allow them to come in, if they can make this a right moment. I'm also hearing a lot of them were watching you so that way they could pop up on you. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like a lot of you guys may get an unexpected call or visit from this person that you weren't expecting and they can't come through because the number block. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all blocked them on all levels because you guys were not having the night, the um, having this situation. Y'all won't about to deal with this, this masculine in a sense of continuing to feed you lies you guys were trying to heal and to build something with somebody that didn't have the same ideals of you, uh, as you do at that particular time and I feel like a lot of you guys were kind of disappointed in that situation 
Yeah, this masculine saying, I can offer more. Look at this. I can offer you more. But how? But again, even though this masculine is growing into a sense of understanding and awakening in his own divine power, he's going through his shadow phase. Like he's saying, no more tears. He doesn't want to come and bring you any more tears. But I feel like those tears have already been shed in this situation. And that you guys, I, I feel like a lot of you guys are throwing up the blockade on them. Like you, you don't trust whether or not this person is going to remain in your life or whether or not they're going to do the same thing over and over and over again. I hear that you, some of you guys may have given this person countless opportunities to correct some of the misbehaving behaviors that they had. And a lot of you guys got fed up in the situation. I hear that some of you guys may have caught them in the act of cheating, like looking through their phone, random pictures of people, um, derogatory pictures is what I heard. Somebody found a derogatory derogatory photo of someone in their phone and this person made up the most extravagant lie to try to direct the conversation like oh it's a porn that I download no that's somebody that you know um I felt like a lot of you guys kind of did your own research on the situation and kind of said kind of threw your hands up but I also feel like spirit kind of forced you guys apart because it needed to occur this way for for this person to um to grow like yeah a lot of you guys found empowerment through being single by being you know distant from this person because you knew that if you continue to stay around that this person's behavior and actions were never going to change and they weren't going to wake up to the realization of who you truly are in their life as far as this um divine union yeah this this masculine saying how long is this gonna take like are you going to take me back like i'm hearing the song by genuine i'll do anything i'm sorry I'll do anything. Yeah, like this person. Yeah, I'm definitely hearing that song by Jimmy Wine. I'll do anything. I'll link that down in the description box, you guys. So that way you can check out that song. Because I'm hearing the whole song lyrics. Like I can't hear it completely. But I'm definitely hearing Jimmy Wine. I'll, I'll do anything. Like can you take me back? It was my fault. I made the mistake. Oh my God. Like, yeah, this person wants to want you to take them back because they realize that they made the mistake, that they were the person that fought in this situation, and they're willing to do anything at this given point in time to prove to you that they're capable of giving you the love in which you so wholly deserve. But again, a lot of you guys are kind of hesitant. I'm getting the hesitation, fear. Um, but spirit is saying that. You know, those are all natural emotions here, but you guys still have a long journey or a road ahead to healing. Someone has a journey or a road ahead to healing that needs to transpire for this to um for this to come through is what I'm getting. So you guys don't need to just jump in immediately. Okay? So <laughs> seriously take your time. Everything shall come come in due time. You know, ooh, car came out. This person feels like you're resentful. Like you resent them in a sense. Like, dang, this person really does resent me. They ain't even answering my phone calls. They're not responding to my messages. I feel like, you know, you guys are really going through a phase of growth. At the bottom of the deck, uh, pick up the pieces. So they're trying to pick up the, the pieces of your broken heart and try to put them back together. But it's not, it don't, it don't work like that. It don't work like that. See, you have to heal that in a different aspect is what Spirit is saying. Like, this person doesn't understand that you guys are going through a healing. Um, look, powerless, weak. This masculine feels like he's powerless and he's weak without you. He doesn't know what to do without you. Yeah, this karmic coming through again on the deck. I don't know why this karmic keeps trying to show show themselves, but they definitely is thirsty. We use magic to turn them against you. So whoever this karmic is, they definitely use some form of magic, black magic. Uh, I'm hearing candle spells, sex magic, even food to turn your person against them. Like at first, this this, this communication between this karmic was harmless. But then this person kind of got aggressive in a sense. Yeah. Do know that the angels are involved in this connection, that they're divinely helping your masculine realize his potential and to step into their greatness. This day, they're not doing this by themselves. I'm definitely getting the sense that they're getting a lot of messages in reference to this connection um, from the angels and their ancestors. Like everybody's working together to try to bring this union um, together because I feel like there's something that there's, un I hear unfinished business. 
there's some unfinished business here but again it, it's a long road ahead before this union can take place but again it's not moving too fast but it's not moving too slow if that makes sense for some of you guys it's like you guys hold the key to whether or not you're going to open that door um to this situation uh two cars dropped on the floor yeah, three, three, three. Like they feel like you're leaving them, leaving them behind. There's definitely a communications with the higher spirits and the ascended masters coming in on this situation. This is definitely a, a, a sign of rejuvenation, abundance, renewal. Um, think, uh, thinking positive. You know what I'm saying? This person is definitely trying to think positive in this situation. Yes, yeah, spirit, spirit is saying that this person knows that the truth will set them free when it comes down to trying to make a connection with you and trying to rebuild something that ultimately may have been lost due to the fact that they couldn't be honest um in in this communication okay um yeah <laughs> like spirit is saying that this person definitely is trying to come through they're trying to come through they're trying to come through on a whole nother level all right let's shuffle these cards one more time spirit say to do this all right <laughs> They said, take the first card from the pot. Yeah, they're healing from past trauma. They're healing from past trauma. They know that they caught that this trauma that they're going through. I feel like you guys have went through this in a in a previous life, and that this soul contract that y'all have. It's like a lot of you guys are waiting on this person to come forward, but again, you're hesitant to let them through the door. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of you guys got your foot behind the door, and the door cracked, and you looking through, and you peeping through, like, what's up? What's up? How can I help you? <laughs> a lot of you guys are hesitant um, to allow this person in the door because you're not sure on how they're going to act in this situation. Yeah, the family knows. Even his family knows that he was wrong. It's like he told the truth to his family before he told the truth to you. You know what I'm saying? Because in the past, this person was Mr. Unreliable in your eyes. They wasn't reliable enough to take responsibility for their actions. They weren't responsible enough to take responsibility of those bills, is what I'm hearing. You know what I'm saying? Because this person was a low-down, dirty shame in the beginning. You know, they showed you a, a, a masterpiece. It's like they showed you this, they painted this picture of greatness to you of perfection but then as the, the relationship progressed it's like this person kind of withdrew themselves and they started to shift shift their gears when it came down to this relationship and this connection and a lot of you guys weren't having that so this person is starting to realize that they may have made a mistake when providing someone else these two of cups these cups that were supposed to go to you it's like they want to come back to their two of cups which is you is what I'm hearing spirits say that like they want to come back, but they don't know which angle or how how you're going to perceive them or take them when they begin to tell you their truth. They're willing to bear it all, and even if it means it's going to really push you away. Yeah, this is definitely related to a man, your divine masculine, here in this communication. Like this person definitely wants to come through and um, give you something, give you something better. Is what I'm hearing. Okay, give you something better. Yeah, because they know that they betrayed you. They threw a lot of daggers in your back. And they did not let up either is what I'm hearing spirits say. They continued to stab you in your back repeatedly. Repeatedly. They took you for granted. Now they're regretting it. They're regretting it. Because they're sitting up here with this karmic miserable as fuck. And they can't even get, they, they can't even leave the house. They can't even be a man is what I hear. They can't even be a man. You get what I'm saying? They can't even be a man because they, this person is trying to control them like a puppet. I'm hearing puppeteer. You know what I'm saying? They're pulling the strings in this situation. Spirit throughout a car. Not hearing the bullshit. Yeah, a lot of you guys are not hearing the bullshit. Y'all are tuning these person out because you're focused on your own growth and aspiration. I hear the song like, now that you're, now that you're gone, I can't breathe for the first time. And also I'm hearing like, why are you so obsessed with me? <laughs> By Mariah Carey, like Katy Perry and Mariah Carey, like I'm hearing that from you guys. Like you guys are on a whole nother hiatus. You're doing something totally different. This person can't even, can't even touch you is what I'm hearing. This car flew out on the floor. Yes, this car just flew out. <laughs> this person running in circles. The car spun around in a circle on the floor. <laughs> 
This person is running around in circles like a chicken with their head cut off is what I hear spirits say. It's like they went to this karmic, thought they was getting a better deal in a situation because this karmic was quick to provide them with the with what they was looking for. I'm hearing like this this person wanted a monetary gain out of this karmic, but found themselves emptying their pockets. <laughs> and they run around like a chicken with their head cut off trying to figure out how do I get out? How do I get out? How do I get out? <laughs> like <laughs> Like, where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Like, no, let me out. 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 This person definitely wants out. But I feel like if they leave the situation, they may not have anywhere to go. If that makes sense for somebody. Like, somebody may not have a home to call their own. Or that they invested in this home with this karmic. And they just can't. Yeah, you guys are living for yourself. Okay? That's what Spirit is saying. Like, y'all are taking the time to live for yourself. You're not living for anyone else. You're doing this for you. You need to heal you because you feel like this person really, really, really took a toll on you. This situation really took a toll on you. Okay? And this person is definitely in denial, was in denial in the beginning about how they, how they affected you. Okay? I feel like a lot of you guys may have told this person how you felt and this person was like, tuck your feelings in your pocket. I don't care. Like they gave you the sense of that they didn't care. Okay? Like this person was definitely negative in a sense. Yeah. This car, the master says the smell of you is intoxicating. So it's like they're definitely looking at your pictures. They may have saved the picture of yours or have something that belongs to you still. And they still reminisce about you. You know what I'm saying? They still reminisce about you. They know that that without like you're you're that you're their happy place. Because they're not happy in the place that they're at. Is what I'm hearing. Look, the boat came out again. I tried to back past this car so many times. But they feel like they're in the middle of the sea on a boat. And they're just surrounded. They're trapped. When I see this car, I see like your masculines on a boat. In the middle of the ocean. With raging waters. And no way to get out. No way to get out. No way. They can't even see through the thunder, thunderstorm and rain. They're trying to make a way where there's no way. You know what I'm saying? They feel like they're they making a way where there's no way. They, they're definitely in doubt that you're going to accept them. They're, pray, they're praying on this relationship. They're praying that this connection comes through. Okay, Spirit say no more on this deck. Okay. <laughs> Spirit say cut this deck. Yeah, this person is definitely praying on this, on this relationship, hoping that it comes through and that, you know, you guys can make a reunion. I'm here in reunion. Okay, these cards fell on the floor, y'all. <laughs> yeah, your person may be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Leo energy here. Yeah, a lot of you guys told this, this, this masculine exactly what was on your mind and you did not hold back. There was no bars hold. There were no hold bars. Like, y'all sat up there, y'all told this person, like, look, I'm not trying to hear that. I'm not dealing with that. You tried to play me in so many words. You guys gave this person an earful. And it's like y'all y'all walked away on mutual grounds like, yo, I'm through. But in reality, this person left their heart with you hoping that you was going to save it for safekeeping. Whole time. They weren't even they weren't even giving this karmic their heart. They was giving this karmic the penis. Okay, yeah. Spirit say trying to communicate through numbers, symbols, letters, people, and things. So this masculine is definitely getting communications and downloads from the universe and assistance from your ancestors and their guides as well. And when it comes down to this connection, because it is a soul contract, it is, it does, it's, it's unfinished business here, they feel like. Okay? Yeah, they feel like if they leave this situation, they're going to be homeless. They ain't going to have nowhere to go. They're going to be out there in the cold. They're going to be hungry. Because the money that they get in, they put all that money into this karmic. And the home in which they invested in, that this karmic got, I see their name is on the same contract. Or like they might share the same place together. Or it feels like a contract to this masculine. Yeah. This masculine said, I want to look into your eyes and get lost in your soul. Like this person knows that the only person that makes them feel the way that they feel, like give them them butterflies inside. I'm here, butterflies inside. Well, who sings that song, y'all? 
Tell me who's seen that song down there in the comments, y'all. Butterflies inside, inside. I want to know. I can't even think of the person that sing that song, but I hear the I hear the words. Y'all tell me who that person is. But this person wants to look inside your soul because they definitely feel a deep connection with you. You know what I'm saying? This master said they believe in miracles. They know that this connection can come forward. They know that this connection can happen if they put all of their energy into believing in the universe can, can push you guys together. They telling the universe every day they wake up, please bring her back. Please bring my, my divine feminine back. Please bring my divine feminine back. Like, they, they look, they taking action. Your masculine is taking action in this situation. They're ready to lose it all just to be with you. They know that in order to be with you, they have to drop the ball on that karma. They have to drop the ball on that karma. Spirit, they pull a couple of more cards. Okay. All right. I got two cards that fall here. Spirit, they leave it there. All right. Yeah. Spirit is telling them to listen to your intuition. And Spirit is telling you to listen to your intuition. You know what is best. You have to be guided in, uh, in, by your intuition. Start to listen to your intuition. Your intuition is saying, open the door a little bit more. Get tested but let them in, then do so. But they're definitely listening to their intuition and following their intuition. You know what I'm saying? Look, this master said they willing to get a hotel room if they got to. <laughs> they willing to get a hotel room if they got to if it means that they get away from this karmi. Okay? Because they definitely don't want to be there in that situation. They're definitely unhappy. I can't tell y'all that. This, this masculine is unhappy and unfulfilled being with this karmi. Okay, I'm gonna get a couple of pull messages here um, for my. Okay, spirit said, put that back. Take these two. Okay. Yeah, Five of Swords. This person is in their Five of Swords energy, y'all. Okay, they're they're paying attention to what the universe is telling them. They're taking action at this time. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to make room for you. But again, they know that they're not going to be stable in this situation if they continue to deal with this karmic. Yes, five of pentacles. All right. This person knows that, you know what I'm saying, all of their insecurities that they have in reference to leaving this karmic is washed away the moment that they walk away. Because if they don't walk away, they, they're trying to start this new cycle and, 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 and really grow, make room to grow in this situation. But they're finding it very hard to do that because they're stuck in this agreement. They feel like they're stuck in this agreement with this, this, this karmic ass, uh, this karmic ass person, Ace of Swords. This person has definitely received the clarity that they need because they're getting messages from the universe that's telling them that they need to come forward to you because you are their new beginning. Okay. All right. And look, look at this, six, six of wands. This person is definitely trying to overcome this situation. They know that in order to move forward, they have to let this person go. They have to let that karma go. Because that karma serves them no purpose whatsoever. All right. This karma serves them no purpose. Spirit throughout this card. Yeah, because you are the star. You are their guiding light. You are the person that shines through the night so bright. You give them clarity and peace of mind. And this person knows that they, they're, the only way they're going to be able to get to you is by letting go of the past. And, and allowing you to forgive them. They're asking for your forgiveness in this situation. They're asking for you to forgive them and to understand the things in which they've done wrong. They're hoping that you're, you'll forgive them. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Because they're manifesting you back into their life. They're manifesting you back into their life because they know that you are the one. You are the chosen one. So they're manifesting the new beginnings with you and new opportunities and a chance to really truly express themselves in a different light. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Huh. Six, six of souls. This person is definitely transitioning out of this, this karmic relationship to you. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> What is that? Five of swords, six of swords. Look at that. Together, they're transitioning and getting to and, and, and making and making moves, making moves. Okay, that's the four. What? That's the four of swords. Yeah, four of swords. You know what I'm saying? Because they're willing to. They they're, they're transitioning out of this 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 fucked up ass energy into their king of swords energy when it comes down to this to this karmic. All right, they're using they're they're they're, ba they're being very strategic when it comes down to walking away at the bottom of the deck because you are the magician 
At the bottom of the deck, you're the magician. Because they know that you hold the power and the key. You hold the power and the key to everything, even to them. This karma don't even know how to communicate with them. This karma can't even get through to this person. This person be looking at them from the side of their eye like, is you okay? Look at this. Eight of Pentacles. This person is working hard to make this happen. Look. They stepping into their emperor. Look. Look. They stepping into their power. They stepping into their power. Look at this. Look at this. The Eight of, Pente the eight of Pentacles and, this, and the, 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 the emperor together. Together. They're stepping into their power and nurturing the ability to come forward because guess what? You are. This is your masculine stepping into his power. You know what I'm saying? They're no longer going to deal with this, this feminine anymore. You know what I'm saying? They're working hard at this too. They're working hard to come forward. They're working hard to change themselves is what I hear. Okay, spirit say leave it there. Okay, this card came out first. Yeah, King of Pentacles. Okay, so your masculine is definitely disciplining himself to reject this this karmic. Look at that. Okay, seven of, seven of swords. This person felt knows that they betrayed you, but they're willing to make the wrongs right. They're reflecting on the things and making new discoveries in this situation. And and look. Look, the hermit in reverse. Like I told you, this person is stepping out of hermit mode and then taking action towards you. They taking action towards you. There is no more second guess in this connection. This person is ready to leap off a bridge that they got to to get to you. If they had wings, maybe they would fly. <laughs> okay? But again, this person is starting to realize that this connection means more to them than, the entire, than anything else in this world. And they're willing to risk it all just for you. All right, y'all. Spirits, they leave it here. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Spirits, they leave it here. Don't, don't leave it there. All right. So, if you guys resonate, if this message resonate with you. Definitely do hit that like, share, and subscribe button down below because somebody's definitely about to get a rude awakening. Somebody's about to get a surprise from this masculine because this masculine is not playing anymore. All right. I definitely feel like this comment is very jealous, and they know they're about to lose this masculine. All right, y'all. I. Talk to my journeyers later. Y'all stay blessed.